The New Food by Stephen Leacock. I see from the current columns of the Daily Press that Professor Plum of the University of Chicago has invented a highly concentrated form of food. All the essential nutritive elements are put together in the form of pellets, each of which contains from one to 200 times as much nourishment as an ounce of ordinary article of diet. These pellets, diluted with water, will form all that is necessary to support life. The professor looks forward confidently to revolutionizing the present food system. Now this kind of thing may be all very well in its way, but it is going to have its drawbacks as well. Perhaps in the days to come, the papers may carry a different story, which will read something like this. The smiling family were gathered round the dining room table. In front of each beaming child was a soup plate. At the mother's side was a bucket of hot water. Near the head of the table rested the Christmas dinner of the happy home, warmly covered by a thimble and resting on a milk bottle cap. The expectant whispers of the little ones were hushed, as the father, rising from the ch his chair, lifted the thimble and disclosed a small pill of concentrated nourishment on the chip before him. Christmas turkey, cranberry sauce, plum pudding, mince pie. It was all there, all jammed into that little pill and only waiting to expand. Then the father, with deep reference and a devout eye alternating between the pill and heaven, lifted his voice in a blessing. At this moment there was an agonized cry from the mother. Oh, Henry, quick! Baby has snatched the pill! It was too true. Dear little Gustavus Adolphus, the golden-haired baby boy, had grabbed the whole Christmas dinner off the milk bottle cap and bolted it. Three hundred and fifty pounds of concentrated nourishment passed down the esophagus of the unthinking child. Clap him on the back, cried the distracted mother. Give him water. The idea was fatal. The water striking the pill caused it to expand. There was a dull, rumbling sound, and then, with an awful bang, Gustavus Adolphus exploded into fragments. And when they gathered the little corpse together, the baby lips were parted in a lingering smile that could only be worn by a child who had eaten thirteen Christmas dinners.